Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPhone and your iPad. So it's going to be the exact same instructions for both of them. Anyways, just go into your settings. In your settings, you're going to go down where it says general. Under general, software updates, your second option. From here, you should see this. If you don't, just turn on and off automatic updates. That should refresh things for you. I do not recommend turning on beta updates, and that's because beta is not something that's fully done. So there are glitches in it. Even with new updates, there's always glitches on it, but especially beta, because that's just a testing phase. Anyways, right now, this is the latest thing. It's not beta. And what you guys will see once we update it is Apple Intelligence being a little bit more introduced into your phone and into your iPad. Just a little bit, though. It's not that much. So we're going to go on and update now, put in your passcode, and then it's just going to download and then install. Uh, some of you may have only download and maybe it, it downloaded already the update. You just have to install it. And there you go. Um, just make sure to have your iPhone or your iPad hooked up to some electricity. doesn't matter if you, even if it's 100% of your battery. Just have it hooked up and charging while you're making any updates at any point in time. Should you do a backup before this update? Well, it's not that big of an update. I know it's 2 gigs. Oh, and by the way, if you have 2 gigs and only, let's say, actually no, if you have 3 gigs of free storage right now and it lets you do the update, don't. Cancel it right now. Don't do it. And that's because you should have at least double the amount. That's just in case. So nothing goes wrong. If the update's 2 gigs like this one, you should have at least minimum 4 gigs of free space on your iPhone on on your iPad. Because when you don't and it's installing, it does like the resetting and all that, it could get stuck. So at that point in time, yeah, then it's really important to make that backup, which you guys can do a backup, not even over iCloud. If you guys don't want to pay anything, just hook up to your computer. And even if you're having issues with this update, maybe it's not coming up, not downloading, something like that, just hook it up to your computer. You guys can use on PC, iTunes, and on Mac, you guys can use Finder. So either one of those two. And just let it run. Come back to it afterwards. You will see later on Apple logo. Uh, it's just going to restart. And then you're going to be done with the update, really. It's going to introduce you to the new Apple intelligence as well. So you guys will see that. It, you guys might select Siri again, what type of um, voice you guys want. And that's it, really. Later on, it's going to ask you for more stuff about installing the Apple intelligence into your iPhone or iPad, but there's really not that much to do anyways. You just have to select a few things and then you're done. All right, so as mentioned before, your iPhone would just restart or iPad, same thing. Just scroll up, put in your passcode and you're gonna see this. So your update's all done. Continue on. You should see something popping up right now about Apple intelligence. There we go. We can set it up now or later. Set up's very easy. I just wanna teach you how to. So just go to it, continue on, choose a voice, continue, and you're done. Just scroll up. That's it. You guys can go into your settings next up. And you guys should see something about Apple Intelligence down here below and Siri. So if you guys really want to set this up properly, right now, language, for some reason, English Canada isn't available. But if you guys want to run Apple Intelligence beta, not the full version, you guys can go right into English USA. So it's right here. Just change language, and there you go. You guys can go on and set up Siri. So it does tell you Apple Intelligence requires that this iPhone Siri are set in the same language. All right, so if you guys just close this, open it up again, it should download, but I'm just going to close it. Then as you open it up again, just go into Apple Intelligence and Siri. Once that pops up, it should say Apple Intelligence downloading, and you're good to go. Anyways, as far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.